Hey everybody, Joy here. Good Friday morning to all of you and to all you mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. I hope you hear from all your children and maybe even some grands. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm hoping that by some huge miracle <laughs> I hear from mine. We shall see. We shall see. If I don't, I'm going to go to town when we get back from uh, Oklahoma City and Jerry going to the doctors. Um, I'm going to order myself some flowers and have them delivered just to play like it's Mother's Day. Jerry just um, asked me, what do you want for Mother's Day? I said, I only want one thing, and that's for you to get well. <laughs> he always spoils me rotten on Mother's Day because he always feels sorry for me, you know, because I never hear from our girls. And... Um, he says, you've got me for a whole day, and then I can have him take me wherever. I mean, he'll even sit in the fabric store on Mother's Day. <laughs> I think one year I bought sunglasses, and um, I forget. But it's always a fun day for Mother's Day. He can't drive, so whatever we do, it will be me driving us there. He took his own shower this morning, though. He only had to stick his, let me see, it's his right hand, so he only stick his... Uh, one hand out for me to put the soap and then he opened the door so I could wash under his under this arm that you know he can't use so yeah taking his own shower now he said he, he wanted to take one without that nurse today <laughs> and the nurse was just fine with it believe me <laughs> so I finished my blouse unfortunately my muffin top uh, when I wear these certain um, skinny jean things, they they squish me so I have this lovely donut around my body. I hate it, hate it. If, the only way to get rid of that, just FYI, is either to wear one of those, um, those Spanx things or make your own pants and make them come up all the way underneath your bra. <laughs> then you can get rid of the rolls. But... I like my new top, and it's the pattern y'all love. I've made it so many times. <laughs> so I'm sure y'all know it by heart by now, you know, with the pretty, the pretty cow. And if you want it to be a pretty cow, you've got to use a really slinky knit or an ITY knit. has to be a really soft one. The, um, those pretty fuzzy brushed knits work good for it. I've used that for them before. Okay, so I wanted to tell you something. I got in trouble by the music police. Oh, I just got notified yesterday. You remember the video I did quite some time ago when I was in this room and I was just dancing around? My computer was playing 50s music and I just hadn't turned it off yet. And so I was just dancing around. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's 50s music. Who's going to care if you play that old stuff? Well, evidently they care. And so they're taking my money from that video and <laughs> giving it to the music police. Or the music company, or the, I don't know who it goes to. <laughs> but it said, you are sharing your money. And I, I'm sure, I'm sure they're so excited of how much money they're going to get. <laughs> I do not get a lot of money, y'all. So, anyway, I can't ever have music on it. I just hate that. I hate that. Now, my software has some music I can choose. It's nothing you ever heard of before, and it's just instrumentals, but it's mostly ugly stuff that, you know, it never, I don't ever like it, and um, it doesn't sound real good or play real good, but at least they don't take my money away if I use that, so. <laughs> I did buy a microphone so I could narrate, because I like to do that. A lot of girls do that, and they obviously aren't doing it like I do it, but... You, you go ahead and you film everything first, and then you upload the video, and then while it's playing, you talk in your microphone, and you can talk, and the talk goes over the video, see? But uh, mine was horrible, just horrible, and you have to turn it up super loud, and you still couldn't hear me, and so I ordered a microphone, because I see all these people talking in these little microphones. Well, it still does the same thing. It doesn't make any difference I have this microphone, so I was rather upset about that. So if any of you know about microphones and how to do the, the talkovers, 
the narration. Tell me what I need to do. Do you turn off the computer sound? Do you turn on another microphone, another speaker? What do you do? Because I don't know. <laughs> and if I do a tutorial, I know a lot of you like me to do tutorials, and I would love to do tutorials, but it would be so much easier if I could narrate them. So if any of you know how to make the microphones work, and if any of you know what lights, I've got two bright lights. You want to see this bright light? I've got two of these. Look at it. This. I have two of them shining right on me. Right on me. The other ones are right over here. This one's right here. Two of them. And still, when I upload this to my computer to get it ready to show to you, I have to add light to it. I have to add lots of light to it. So that isn't working either. So any of you know about lighting, let me know what to do. <laughs> and I've got sweat on my lip. It's kind of hot up here. All right. So I just wanted to say good morning. That's my snippet for today. I just texted Philly and said, do you want to Zoom some more today? But I haven't heard back from her. So she's probably taking care of Roger or has an aide there, the preacher there, or something going on. So... I'll be back after a while. Okay, it's Saturday now. 11.23 in the morning. And we're getting ready to go someplace. <laughs> Since we've got painters coming now, we hired some painters. And so far, they have been the most polite, nicest young men. The owner's name is J.R. or Junior. I'm not sure which. And then he has another man that works for him called Ray, and then they have a secretary. Ray told me this yesterday. And they have an office in Denison, Texas. But they have five paint crews that they have working for them. And so the man came, first JR comes out to your house, and he takes a picture of everything you want done. And then in a few days, he sends you an estimate. And then if you accept the estimate, which we accepted it and added something to it, <laughs> We decided we want the ceiling painted in near the same color as the walls. We added something to it. And so then he sent me a new estimate. So then we signed it. And so then the next guy calls. And his name's Ray. And I was in the car uh, yesterday when he called. Jerry was in the doctor's office. And I was just waiting outside. And so I talked to him. And he was so polite. So friendly. So nice. I just couldn't even believe it. So... He is the supervisor over scheduling and making sure the job gets done. So the owner comes out, looks at the job, does the estimate, and then this guy takes over after that. So he said they have an opening May 29, probably take a week to get the work done here. And we're having this room completely painted to match my room in there. I think I told you I wanted that pretty turquoise color. Well, I decided, no, no, that's a bad idea. I think I may have told you that earlier in this snippet. I never can remember what I said before. <laughs> so anyway, this room is going to match the rest of the house, just the neutral color, which is this light beige. Uh, it's called chenille white and from Sherwin-Williams. And so when we use it, we paint the ceiling the same color. So we're going to paint the walls at no turquoise. I decided I can just use my quilts for color on the wall. Hello, that one's turquoise. <laughs> Butterflies have lots of blue and turquoise. Blues and turquoises are my colors. So, yesterday, after we got home from the doctor, and I told Jerry I'd talk to the guy, and he said, yes, the 29th was perfect, no problem, that's just fine. So last night, I came up here, and I completely emptied one of my bookshelves full of cottons. They're all cottons, 100% cottons. Completely emptied that bookshelf, and the window seat, where I had layer cakes, and jelly rolls, and some yardages that I was going to use for backings and things like that. And I was able to move everything into, we've got two closets up here, so I moved everything into one closet. So I took some pictures, first the bookcase, then the closet. Yeah, I know, I know, I know you're shaking your head going, why does that old lady need all that fabric? 
There's dozens of layers, and, and it's not really my fault. I plead innocence because I used to get an email from Missouri Star Quilt Company every day, and they would have a daily deal, and they would have those layer cakes like 40 or 50 percent off. I mean, how can you not buy them, especially if they're laundry basket quilt fabric? And so I kept thinking I would be making like evidently 20,000 um, half square triangle quilts. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Ah! <laughs> and jelly rolls. What was I going to do with all those jelly rolls? Anyway, I may be selling them on eBay or Etsy. Uh, I can use either one. I've never had, uh, so I think I sold one thing on Etsy years ago and it was a quilt, a cat quilt. And on eBay, I don't know if I've ever sold anything on eBay yet. So I'm going to try that. I think I'm going to sell a couple of my machines. Even if we stay here and we don't move, I think I'm going to go ahead and sell the uh, Bernina Sergers and uh, maybe the Elisimo and maybe the, uh, what's that other one called? Virtuosa Bernina sewing machine. Maybe my 1130 sewing machine. Uh, I'll never sell my 930. It's my favorite. <laughs> my first from 1986. So I think I might start doing that, you know, to lighten the load, lighten the load, lighten the load. So we can move if we want to, or we can stay here if we want to, but just not have so much stuff. You know, what do we have left? 15, 20 years. I'm 73, 83, 93, 20 years, maybe 25. But, um, you know, with our RV and traveling, as you always say, quit sewing every day and go somewhere, Joy. <laughs> so, we're going to do that. Jerry's getting better. He's having a real problem with swelling. I don't know what they did to him. I'm going to ask the doctor Monday. But they did something to his bicep. It is totally black and blue. And his arm is swollen from the shoulder all the way down to his fingers. It's just swollen. And I think he's got... Um, lymph node damage in there because his arm is swelling. So he's actually got it out of the cast because the cast was making it, not a cast, it's a sling. Um, it was making it swell worse. And so he's just letting it relax right now. He's not doing anything with it, but you know, still keeping it off of his um, bicep. So, but he's fine, he's doing fine, got the staples out. The boo-boos up here, the five incisions, they're totally completely healed. Uh, that, that part's just perfect. So it's just whatever's going on on the inside isn't completely done yet, of course. It's only been, it was a week yesterday. Friday, a week ago, he had the surgery. So we're past a week already. That's wonderful. <laughs> Getting back to physical therapy, he's been doing his his exercises, you go around in a circle. He can't do it unless he does his knees. <laughs> so he goes one way, and then he goes the other way, and then you go like this. And So he does that five times a day. So he's doing real good, and he's being a good boy. He took a shower all by himself this morning. He came out. You won't believe what he came out with. You won't believe. <laughs> he was looking for some way to use his left hand to get up under his right armpit with the soap and uh, so he came out and he said do you have anything that like has a handle and a sponge on the end of it and I said well I've got that thing I cleaned the shower with well the handle on it's as tall as I am so that wouldn't work and the sponge is very big and it's hard like a scrubby so <laughs> I'm in the kitchen I'm cleaning up the breakfast dishes he comes out in the kitchen with <laughs> The toilet cleaner wand. Do y'all know about those Clorox um, little things you can buy? And there's a wand, and you just stick the scrubby pad that's got bleach and toilet cleaner in it, and you stick it on the bottom. And so he comes in, and he wants to know if he can use it for under his arm. <laughs> I said, oh, my gosh. I said, do you know what that is? So I helped him. I helped him find this scrub brush thing that has a handle. It's like you would do dishes with, but it's a soft scrub brush thing. And I said, take the washcloth, wrap it around it, and then use it up under your armpit. So he took a shower all by himself today. He didn't want that nurse in the shower with him anymore. <laughs> so 
all is well. That ends well. And he just insisted. He's always very, very big on Mother's Day. Of course, you know, he feels bad for me because yesterday I was just weepy all day long. I mean, he couldn't say it's going to rain, Joy, and, and I just start crying. I was just a mess. But I'm, I'm better today. Um, I've given myself a speech. I've calmed myself down. <laughs> and um, we're going to go to town uh, to get a couple groceries and have lunch. And then we're going to go look for countertops. The countertops have to be redone in our kitchen. We've been going to do it for 25 years. And we redid it once, but we redid it with the same thing we already had. And, of course, if it cracked once, broke once, of course it's going to crack once, break once again. And so now we've got two cracks. And ah, what is it? It's the Corian. So we want to go with quartz this time. So we've got to go find out which quartz and um, who can come and do that. And so we want all new kitchen counters, and then we've got a bathroom that needs a new counter. So just little things like that. So Burnsides was in a chair reading a book, and I said, have you iced your shoulder yet today? No. So he has to be under ice for 15 minutes, and he has to do his exercises. And so I decided, come up and start emptying this bookcase. It isn't that hard. It's something, you know, I don't need Jerry to help me with, thank goodness. So I have things by color. This is the peaches, blue, blue and purple, pink and red, more blue. I mean, it's not separated too much, but sort of. <laughs> so I'm just taking them out like this. And you know, oh, pardon my nose. I tell you, I just can't take any more pills today. <laughs> Do you know, I have mine wound on these um, core boards. And Jeffrey told me that you can get them at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Now they're a dollar and a half or something. But you can if they have them. And it's much, 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 much cheaper than Amazon. So I have mine wrapped like little bolts. And because of the way this bookcase is, I have to show this end of them. The other bookcase that I emptied, I show the side of them. So either way, you really can't see a whole lot of them. So I take them in here. I've got a queen size bed in here with one of my favorite quilts on it that I made out of all batiks. Love this quilt. And I have the pattern. If anybody wants to know the pattern, I'll look it up for you later. Or put it in my next video or whatever. <laughs> so, I just keep taking them. I keep them the same because they're going to come back the same. I started in the center of the bed. And I've got six stacks in the center of the bed. So that's one, two, three, four, five. It's only five shelves. So I think I'll stack a little more, I'll stack them a little higher in the middle and continue with more blues. Oh, do you think I love turquoise or what? I have so many beautiful fabrics, you guys. Look at that one. Oh, so pretty. Oh. Oh my, so many pretty fabrics. The whole thing, it just entered my lightning fast mind, finally. <laughs> the whole thing I wanted to tell you, really fast today. And I, I have to get this up. Surely it will still be good through tomorrow, because tomorrow's Mother's Day. Peggy Sagers, SilhouettePatterns.com. If you go to YouTube, I'm not an affiliate at all. At all, she wouldn't want me as one. <laughs> Go to YouTube, search Silhouette Patterns, and subscribe to it because she shows her fabrics really close up. She shows you the whole bolt, and she pulls the fabric out, and she tells you what it's made of, and she shows you the drape and everything. So she's having a special for Mother's Day. Now, her fabrics are not seconds, and they're not whatever some of these stores carry that sell them so cheap. Hers are first quality. She has nice fabrics. You can't return them, though. And um, you have to buy at least a yard. So I don't like that, and I don't like that. <laughs> I have a lot of don't really care for us with Peggy, but there's a lot, of, a lot of other things I really do. I love Peggy. But the thing is, she's got them for $10 a yard for Mother's Day. So if you have time, and you love fabric, and they're clothing quality. to make, It's not quilt stuff. She doesn't do quilts. It's not for quilts. It's for making garments, and she has some real pretty uh, garments that have some yellow, some pale yellow. 
and my nose is still running. Dayquil, Benadryl, and cough syrup with DM, nighttime cough syrup with DM, what a dextromethorphan or whatever that is. <sighs> it's not like this every day. I don't know. I had, um, I bought these little bitty baby donuts. They're like this big around, really. They are. And I bought them at Sam's, and there's a great big huge box of them. And so you just pull out five or six of them and heat them up in the microwave for a minute, and <laughs> they're so cute. So I made some of those this morning, and Jerry had half a dozen, I had half a dozen of them. So I'm like thinking, I wonder if I'm allergic to those pancakes. <laughs> I mean, how is that even possible? <laughs> I don't know. So what you have to do is take the total and divide it by something and figure out how many stacks you're going to need on your bed. Well, I didn't do that yet. <laughs> so I have six stacks down the center of the bed, and I figure I can get six on the right side and six on the left side. So let's see how many shelves I have left. See how you have to multiply and divide and, and do algebra and stuff. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen divided by twelve. So what would that answer be? <laughs> nineteen shelves. <laughs> that have to fit on 12 spots. So I think we're just going to have to get a little bit higher here and there. But Oh, then we have to move all of my quilts. And I'll just put those on the carpet over there by the window seat, so that won't be a problem. And look how much I have done already. So they move all the furniture to the middle of the room, and they cover it up. I just have to move my knickknacks. And I don't have a lot of knickknacks. I'm not a big knickknack person. So, Jerry, I'm sure, would want to unhook his stereo equipment here, and since Jerry can't do it, he'll probably come up here and instruct me how to do it. The thread can stay on the wall because it's on a uh, pegboard, and they can just paint around the pegboard. And yay, and I gotta get the turtles down. Now, it was a big, big deal getting the, that turtle quilt up there. We had some kind of special ladder where it goes in a million positions, and so we had to put it on the stairs. And so one leg had to like be bent, and the other leg had to like be strong, be um, out. And so it would be at the top of the stair and down lower on a step, you know what I'm saying? And it weighs 500 pounds, and Jerry won't let me bring it over here. He says it's too heavy for me. So I think I'm going to see if the painter people will be very nice and somehow get me up there so I can remove that quilt, because that has to be painted. These walls are a pale yellow, which I used to love when my colors were blue and mauve when I built the house, and I love this pale yellow, but I don't like it anymore. So, I'm gonna change it, I'm gonna love it. I wish I could make it so I'd have more places to hang quilts, but that's all right, that's all right, it'll work out. All right, is 15 minutes up yet? Jerry's icing his shoulder and he has to go do his exercises, and then we're going to town to look at countertops and have lunch. That will be Durant, Oklahoma. Durant, Oklahoma is where our old church was, where we used to go before the dad got old and the kids took it over. I've told you about that before, but it's uh, about 21 miles from here. And then that gets you there, and then you have to continue on to go to anywhere else. But it's, you know, it's not as far as Sherman, Texas, which is 45 miles. <laughs> so, and who cares? It's Saturday. It's almost Mother's Day. Joy's just blabbing on and on and on. Let's turn her off. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> so here it is. I'm all done with that bookcase. So that was my two hardest things I had to do. So I'm so excited. But look at this sea of material. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Now I have all this fabric here, another great big bookshelf here, another big bookcase over there. It's my little store. It's my little store. I'm so excited. But I'm giving lots and lots and lots of fabric away. I'm trying to figure out how to send some to the Dress-A-Girl place. I have emailed them twice, two different places, one address on their website and another lady's name who gave her address. And I've asked them both. Where can I send fabric for y'all to make Dress-A-Girl girls? And uh, Dress-A-Girl girls, you can't make a girl, Julie. Where can I send fabric for y'all to make dresses for the girls? 
no response. So whoever told me I needed to send fabric there, I wish you'd tell me where to send it because I'd be happy to. But I've got another 30 pound box, it'd be another $50 to ship it, and I'm just going to send it to Sherry again. If somebody doesn't tell me pretty quick where else to send fabric that I want to donate. So, let me know. <laughs> I won't be uh, doing it until Monday. I've got the box all packed. I just don't have the label on it yet. And we will take it with us to Oklahoma City because I know where there's a UPS store on the way. Okay? But how about this? And I have searched and searched for the pattern I used to make the quilt on this bed. Do you think I can find it? No. I thought, sure, I would have called it Boo's Quilt because I made it for my grandson, Boo. He couldn't care less about it and his wife doesn't like quilts. So it's his quilt when he's at my house, okay? And it's beautiful. I've spent lots and lots on all of these pretty batiks, but I think you can see it from here. Very nice. Easy pattern. But I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of it. I looked through two great big long drawers in my uh, file cabinet in there, and I just didn't find anything. Actually, I looked through three drawers. <laughs> so, if I find it, um, and if anybody's even interested, oh, it's got a beautiful, beautiful quilt. Uh, quilting design on. I quilted it myself with my long arm with a pantograph where you stand behind the machine and you follow the little red light and you go like this and I used a variegated thread. It is just, oh it's so pretty. You have to see it. It doesn't look, quilts never look good in a picture. They just don't. They're extremely hard to photograph but this is just so pretty in real life. Okay, so I just wanted to show you if you have to move all your fabric somewhere, the guest room bed is a great place. <laughs> I'm going to end this right here, right now, because tomorrow's Mother's Day, so I don't want to make any videos on Mother's Day. Nobody wants to see the mood I'm going to be in tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm going to end this here, but happy Mother's Day to all of you. If I was your daughter, I would so call you, send you flowers, take you out to dinner, buy you your favorite gift, tell you how much I love you and how wonderful you are. So I hope that your children will do that for you. All right. Bye for now.